very important. It's not just because I'm on the ballot. We've got a great ticket from top to bottom. Congressional candidates, county candidates, legislative candidates. It's important that we support every one of them. You know, I'd, I'd like to ask uh, any of you who have served in our military, would you wave your hand so we can recognize you? Give them a round of applause. Thank you. But ladies and gentlemen, today, there are men and women serving our country, putting themselves in harm's way to protect this country's liberty and freedom. We have a choice to make. Are we willing to fight through November to make sure that they have a country worth coming back to? Foreign policy is important, but so is domestic policy. And if we're going to put the right domestic policies in place so that this state and this country is worth coming back to, we need to work hard through November. You know, one of my favorite heroes is a guy by the name of Abraham Lincoln. And just as simple as our message is, so is winning elections. Abraham Lincoln said simply, identify the voters, find those who are with you, and ask them to go out and influence those that are uncertain. It's up to you, the people who know what's right, to go out and influence those who are yet uncertain and make sure that they vote on November 10th and they vote right. Thank you. God bless Illinois. God bless you. And God bless America. And we want to thank everybody for coming and remind you that there's t-shirts and stickers and sign-ups over there and there's food. So on your way out, you can pick up something. But uh, me and Vivian, we really want to thank everybody for coming. And we, we have Eric Wallace from the Black Tea Party Patriots going to say the closing prayer. <laughs> Hello, Homer Glenn. As we talk about the road to victory, we cannot forget the role of the church. Our founding fathers understood that. And Ben Franklin said, God governs in the affairs of men. And if a sparrow cannot fall to the ground without his notice, is it prob probable that an empire, of course in this, in this regard, the state of Illinois, can rise without his aid? We have been assured in the sacred writings that except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. I firmly believe this. I also believe that without his concurring aid, we shall succeed in political building no better than the builders of the Tower of Babel. That was Ben Franklin. Dr. King lamented in his letter from a Birmingham jail that the church used to be an agent of change. He stated, in those days, the church was not merely a thermometer that recorded the ideas and the principles of popular opinion. It was a thermostat that transformed the mores of society. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to remind you that Franklin and King were true in what they said. We cannot succeed in building this state and vanquishing the Chicago-style politics and corruption without calling on the name of the Lord God Almighty. And in this same vein, the sleeping giant of the church must rise and become an unstoppable force. An unstoppable force. So let us keep this in mind as we pray. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing on the task that is set before us. And as we seek to do your will and establish good governance, we ask that you make our cause just, our hearts pure, and our speech plain. As the prophet Amos said, let justice roll on like a river and righteousness like a never failing stream. And may the church rise up as an unstoppable force like an avalanche of political reform from Rockford to Carbondale, from Quincy to Kankakee, and may the eventual outcome be felt from Springfield to Washington, D.C. Lord, we call on your intervention because without you we can do nothing, but through you all things are possible. So as we leave this place, we ask for your wisdom and strategy, guidance and policy, and your protection in our travels. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See. Bye. 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 B
safely home. Oh, and uh, Joe, thank you, Joe Bozen. He was our DJ today, and he will be at Cool River tonight. Uh, 159? Uh, Whose broad stripes?